Hey, uh, today it's warmed up today, and I thought a little bit overcast, a little bit rainy, but I thought, you know, hey, it'd be a good day to go through my get home bag or bug out bag, and I don't know if there's much of a difference, but uh, mine constantly changes from what I do. Uh, sometimes uh, I have trips that I go far away, and sometimes I'm just, you know, within 30 miles of my house. So, uh, but anyway, it, it just kind of changes and revolves. And uh, so I want to be able to get home, you know? So, uh, uh, my bug out, I mean, my get home bag, it's just like, um, just things that I just got to have. I probably have too much in it. And what I figured if I get in a situation, um, depending on the situation, if I need to dump some stuff, I can. But I'd rather have more than less. And uh, I've, that's really helped me at times. So, and if, like I say, if I need to dump some, I will. And none of this is real expensive stuff. It's just stuff that I've uh, got a little bit at a time. And like I say, I still need a few things. And I'm just adding to it as I go. But uh, it's just time that I uh, get back in my, my bag and uh, see what I got. And... Uh, see if I can do a little little upgrades or anything. So I figured I'd just show you what all I got in mind and um, maybe it'll help somebody or, uh, you know, I think everybody needs to have a get home bag in their vehicle. Uh, and especially if you care about your family, I uh, think your, your wife and kids or whatever also need to have a, uh, uh, you know, a get home bag. So, but let's go with, I'll show you what I got in mind and we'll go through it together. Okay, I'm over here by my chicken coop. Like I say, don't make fun of my pink bag. This is something I always keep separate from my bag here. And the reason why, this is my food bag. And, uh, and like I'll have different things in here. I got these at Ollie's. It's a bag of cream chicken. Okay, just add water. Uh, in my vehicle, I always keep a whole case of water bottles. And uh, I got some uh, rice, okay? And another bag of like, all you do is add water, like soup, okay? And these are kind of, these are kind of odd things. I thought it would be neat. And they're quick stuff, and all I do is got to heat up and eat. Coconut rice, okay. Oops. And this is uh, lemongrass uh, rice, okay. This kind of stuff that I fill you up. Got another bag the same as that. Got a, a can of, I mean, uh, some summer sausage. Uh, Iowa Smokehouse is what the name of that is. And it's pretty good stuff, actually. And I keep me a can of ham, okay? So this will last me roughly a week, I'm thinking, okay? Some more rice, different types of rice. I've got uh, red, uh, red wild rice. That's pretty good. And all I gotta do is add water, okay? So in my vehicle, I always keep a case of water and I keep a... Uh, uh, big, it's a, it's a backpack, you know, uh, that holds, has a water bladder in it, uh, camelback, okay, so this, the reason I keep this in a separate than this is because, uh, because winter time here, I don't want my food freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing, and so, and then in the hunt summer, it gets really, really hot. Uh, I just don't want to keep it in my car all the time. So I take this in and out all the time. I actually wear this out. And of course, I have another video on this, this knife, uh, a survival explorer knife. I've had this for years and years. I just redone it a while back. I, I got a video on it. I actually really like this knife. And uh, so I keep this as well. And I also keep it close separate. Uh, I keep, 
I keep this little waste waste bag, okay? Uh, I keep it empty, and it's it's I keep it just attached here because when something happens, I, I can I can take this out, and I'm going to be rearranging things uh, eventually. So that I can put food in this, water bottles, uh, whatever I need. It's just an extra bag, and I got this at a yard sale for like. 50 cents, okay? So none of this. Uh, so this bag here, uh, I went on a mission trip and it actually was, uh, I used it for a mission trip and it was actually a turkey bag for turkey hunting. And uh, hold on, let's go on the back, let's go on the top first, okay? And like I say, this is not everything you need, but, uh, If I need to get rid of some stuff, I will. But at the time, but this, I'd rather have more than less. Okay, lighter. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, in the top little bag here, I got a sponge for washing uh, my pots and pan, or pot and pan, or whatever. I got a lighter. Uh, this is a little first aid kit. Uh, I've got, this is everything from an Anbu bag here, tourniquet. Uh, I've got um, rubber gloves, uh, band-aids. I've just got uh, quite a bit of little things in here. I'm not going to take it apart. Uh, this is the most important thing. I have a, uh, water filter system. And you can hook these up to a water bottle, fill the water bottle up with any kind of water and drink it. And it's got, and like I say, it's, uh, it's got the whole system where you can, you know, uh, get water out of a mud hole or whatever. Uh, man, this is my, if you don't buy nothing else, get a good little water system, right? They're not that expensive. Um, and let's see, what, uh, what's this brand right here? I know they're hollering at me, ain't they? It's Irwin, I believe, is what that is. No, it's a Sawyer. Sawyer. But anyway, that is the most important thing that if you have nothing else, get, get a water filter system. All right, let's put this back. I also have a little uh, chem light. You just break it and it'll glow in the dark. Okay. Got one of them. And it's got a cheap, cheap old pocket knife. And one thing, the reason I got this one is I got this at a flea market and it's super lightweight. So, and that matters when you're out walking home. Okay. So, uh, so that's, that's what's in that bag. I also have another emergency kit. This is mostly just gauze. Gauze. And there's band-aids, razor blades, uh, a tourniquet. So uh, that's what's in there. All right, got a side bag here. Okay. This right here is a rain, uh, 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 raincoat. And uh, and so, anyway, that's, that's my rain gear. Uh, flashlight. Like I say, this old cheap flashlight. And that's actually a poncho, by the way. So... Uh, and let's turn it over. Let 
Another side, I have a boonie hat, okay? Boonie hat. And believe me, you need that in the summer. I got a pair of gloves, leather gloves. Now, uh, let's see, I've got another pocket right here. All right. This is a little, it's basically a flexible cup. So you can use to pour water in. Uh. Darn, that's hard to open. Kind of neat, ain't it? So, you put you know, water, soup, whatever you need. So I've got that. Uh, I've got a saw. There you go. Got a saw. Making a shelter or cutting limbs or trees. Uh, another very, not very expensive. And here's my little mess kit. Right here. I've had this since I was a kid. This little mess kit. And I've used it oh, hundreds of times. So, and a pencil of paper in case you need to write directions down uh, or something. And in my in my uh, in my vehicle, I always have a map. Okay, and I got a paper map. And I got a uh, actually I've got a little bag besides this one. If something happened, I'd have to grab them. But I've got it where I can just throw it over my shoulders. So. All right. This is a tarp. And uh, it'd be great for a shelter. It's a really nice tarp that I, I have. It's for camping. I have uh, some MREs that a uh, friend of mine named uh, uh, Clint. Okay, uh, sh stuff's getting a little wet, it's starting to rain on me. But, uh, but anyway, I got a little stove here, okay? And uh, here I have another, another little mess kit. It's a little pot and it's got a cup inside, really nice. And there's my, uh, uh, that's my fluid for my stove right here, okay? And the rest are just clothes, uh, which uh, I, this I've got, it's it, the material you can get wet and it not feel like it's wet. I've got two of these. I actually got these at like, um, you know, I don't know, thrift shop or something. Uh, that's real cheap. Uh, and these, these, I got extra clothes in here. Uh, and this right here is my, uh, it's a pair of pants I have that I have actually a pair of pants. It's made to wear it. Uh, they're the same way. They're, uh, they don't let, uh, they're hunting pants actually. So that's what I've got. Hey, I forgot to mention that my multi-tool, I got a multi-tool. It's on the top and, uh, but, uh, let's see. I, I, I don't want to forget that. I do have a multi-tool, so I actually carry three knives. But and I, you know, you might ditch one down the road if you had to. But uh, if uh, if anything, I would keep I would keep uh, I keep my survival knife uh, before with the rest of them. Well, hey, that's my bug out bag, get home bag, and uh, anyway, I hope this might help you get started on yours. And so. Uh, I recommend that you, you get one for your whole family and uh, put one in your wife's car, your your kid's car. So, uh, and then, you know, it constantly is changing. It depends on the situation you're in of how far you usually go away from home. And, uh, 
you know, and it is a pain. I mean, I, I throw this bug out bag from vehicle to vehicle and, and the food you constantly got to bring in and cold weather and stuff. But, uh, and, uh, actually my fuel can, you can tell it's dented up to where this thing gets thrown around all the time. But you know what? If you ever need it, it's, uh, it's way worth it. And also got, uh, in, in my car, I have, uh, some frog togs. Um, I think that's one of the most important things you have too is good, a uh, good rain suit, keep your clothes clean, keep you dry and warm and, uh, have food to last you for at least a week and, uh, have, have a, have a weapon. And, uh, if you can, some kind of like a knife or, or a gun or whatever. And, uh, but just, uh, hey, make it home to your family and I hope this helps you. God bless. And, uh, and if you would, hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out and add the rhythm. And uh, y'all uh, stay safe out there. God bless. See you on my next adventure.